Residents on Belfield Drive in Johnson evacuated tonight. Mayor Joseph Policina Jr. says the decision comes out of caution ahead of tomorrow's rain. Yeah, we came to the decision that in the best interest of the residents here, as well as our first responders, to issue mandatory evacuation for all eight houses on this road that are flooded out. Two of the vehicles the town was using to reach the flood-prone properties broke down after driving back and forth on the flooded road. Senator Jack Reed was in West Warwick today at a bridge damaged in Wednesday's flooding, and we asked him about a permanent solution to frequent flooding on Belfield Drive. Is we have to start seriously looking at all of our waterways to uh, discover potential blockages, new sources of water coming in. Senator Reed stood on Belfield Drive two years ago when politicians gathered to celebrate a $1.3 million culvert repair that clearly didn't work. But who's saying that this problem doesn't just keep on happening and happening at Belfield? Well, uh, we're going to go back in. We already have resources committed to help in the floodplain. Belfield Drive is only one of many locations in the state that chronically flood. Wayne's Auto Service in West Warwick is next to the Pawtuxet River. Wayne Simus wants to relocate after many of his cars are now totaled from the flooding. He has a message for the senator. Yeah, I think relocation is probably the best idea. I can't even imagine. Unless he wants to come down here and help out next time around and